In the Quick Start Movie Part 1, you saw how to quickly create a live scene. We're going to take a look now at creating multiple scenes and turning those into an arrangement and then recording that arrangement in Ableton Live 7. Before we get started on this movie, let's go ahead and do something very important that we need to do for our live sets. We're going to save our live set. I'm going to choose Collect All and Save, and this is going to keep all of my files in a single folder that I can access, and that way if I move any of these files around, they won't get lost. So you'll see this dialog window that asks if you are sure that you'd like to self-contain the set, and the answer is yes, so we're going to click OK. We want our live set to contain absolutely all of the content necessary, so we're going to click OK. I'm going to just choose my desktop and name my live set. And click the Save button. And it's saving and copying all of the files, and you can see here that my Session 1 project now exists on my desktop where I have access to it. So here's the scene we created in the previous movie. I'm going to go ahead and add another loop to this scene. Do a little volume adjustment here. Now, scenes in the master track can be renamed to indicate what part of the song they are or to give you some indication of, of where you are in the arrangement that you're about to create. You can do that by right-clicking or control-clicking or using the key command, Command-R. I'm going to create an arrangement here that really isn't your typical verse, chorus, verse arrangement, but those are the terms I'm going to use to differentiate. And that'll help us keep things organized here. I'm going to make a copy of my verse scene that I've created by right-clicking or control-clicking and choosing Duplicate or Command or Control-D to make a duplicate copy of my verse. And I'm going to name this one Chorus. And I'm going to do a couple things to differentiate between my verse and my chorus. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my bass synth on the chorus scene, and I'm going to transpose that down two semitones. And I'm going to do the same thing with the synthesizer arpeggio that I have here. So that'll give me a little musical variation between my verse and my chorus sections. And you can hear that as I switch between the two. The next thing I want to do is add an extra loop to the chorus. Give it even more variation. I'm going to double click this. And transpose my new loop. Now let's make this arrangement even more dynamic by duplicating the verse a couple times. and selecting some clips and deleting them. And I'm going to use this to create my intro. So I've got two duplicates of my verse that I've now eliminated most of the clips from, and I'm going to rename these. Intro 1 and Intro 2. The next thing I'm going to do and you'll see why as we get into the arranging process is I'm going to click and alt or option drag some loops onto their own scenes. And these are loops that I'm going to use for improvisation a little bit later on. So it looks like I've got the basis for my new arrangement here. I've got my intros, my verse, my chorus, and I've got some free floating loops here that I'm going to use for improvisation. Now, to get ready for recording my arrangement, I'm going to click the Stop Clips button down here and make sure all my clips are stopped. I'm going to click double-click the Stop button up here, 
make sure that my arrangement is back to the beginning of the arrangement view, which you'll see in a moment. I'm going to click the global record button so it's armed for recording. And now as soon as I launch any clip or scene, I will actually be recording. Here comes my intro, and you can see the recording happening up here. Second part of my intro. And here comes the verse. And I'm going to quickly go to the chorus. And back to the verse. I'm going to show you a little bit of improvisation here. I've got my intro scene going, and I'm going to just start launching some clips from other tracks. And stopping them. and then launching my verse when I'm done. And we're gonna let this verse play out for a couple more measures. We're gonna use that in the exporting lesson when we wanna create a fade out. Now that's a look at recording and arrangement. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click the arrangement view selector and view my arrangement. And if you can't see all of your arrangement, you can click and drag up here at the top in what's called the overview and drag back and forth to view your complete arrangement. And in the next movie, we're going to take a look at editing and exporting the arrangement that we've just created.